Hey traders, TG Watkins. It is June 17th when I'm recording this and we've got kind of an interesting week. We've got actually Juneteenth right in the middle of the weekday with the week. And so we have a Wednesday uh, off. The market's going to be closed in the middle of the week. So just make sure you guys know about that and uh, make sure you come over to simplertrading.com slash moxie. And then the other thing I want to be talking about, so the market's going to be closed on Wednesday and we still, let me refresh this and see if anything's changed. Yeah, breath that's still kind of mediocre. This is, it's been very strange and I'm trying to see if, if this is it, like it is, has the rest of the market cycled down and this is now the pullback. Like, is this what we're looking at? Is that the pullback? And is that the pullback? And do we start to actually start to move up from there? Or uh, as I think a lot of people out there are talking about in the financial spaces and stuff, like right now, this whole conversation about breadth is really at the forefront. So I've been talking about it for a few weeks now, but more and more people are starting to talk about it is about this divergence of the market way up here and breadth just not getting it done. Uh, a lot of times what we see is that uh, when breadth starts to come down, it does pull the market down, but it's not quite happening here. Now, the other time that we've seen this happen, and I've talked about this before, was back here when the debt ceiling issue was a thing. And the market itself, and this might be some of the difference, the market itself actually just kind of stayed contained. So it did a lot of flagging, and then you can see the debt ceiling was resolved, and you can see that breadth was declining, and then it got resolved. And you can see that was really a just a moment in time, and everything picked up from there. I have yet to see something really perk up. Now, today was a good day. It was uh, honestly surprising how strong today was. Let me show you on the markets you know, nice big day. This really feels like some short squeezing, short, well, short squeezing. And I'm having a hard time really feeling comfortable getting long up here on individual names, even though I'm seeing some stuff set up. I would love to see, I don't know, some sort of refresh, but it's, it's very strange to be seeing the market up here and breadth barely do anything. So we either need to see this continue or go sideways and breadth start to pick up. Like we need to see the rest of the market get on board basically. And I think the way we'll see that, other than just doing your scans and kind of seeing how the doing the bottom up, you know, looking around the market, seeing how the market's doing, is we should see if something like the IWM can get into gear. The IWM, the DIA, the Dow, you know, we need to see these things actually start to perk up because you can see that the IWM has just been moving down. Now, we had CPI last week and we had a nice big move up like that, but it gave it all back. And that's that's pretty tough to deal with, right? You know, we have these nice big moves and then they just give it all back. Um, now we did have a nice move today. We're gonna have to see, can this actually start hammering out of, out of bottom and start moving up? I'd like to think so. I was leaning bullish back before we actually had the move up on CPI. But then this uh, pullback has kind of thrown cold water on the whole situation, which you know the market loves to make as many people wrong as possible. And so I, I am still thinking in the back of my mind that this could possibly keep moving up. Like this could be the thing, you know, throw cold water, get everybody off on a different track and then short squeeze them and then let's go. But the other thing is I look at the VIX and the UVIX and this thing looks like it's ready to go. <laughs> so uh, it's challenging to see the markets at all time highs. And this is really just idling down here, looking like it wants to start moving up. Cause what do you do when the VIX is at all time lows doesn't have much more room to go down. Sure, I guess it could go sideways for a while, which, you know, this went sideways for quite some time, but it's challenging. It's challenging to look at this and say, wow, that looks like it's ready to start moving up, especially when markets are all the way up here and maybe you could use a bit of a pullback. So we've got a lot of weird things working on there. I'm gonna, I don't know if today, this week is gonna be any more clarity. Uh, I like, I'm happy that today was an update like this, but we're going to have to see some follow through because we had an update last week and we saw zero follow through on the rest of the market. Um, of course, it's the mag seven that continues to lead the way. So, you know, trade the names that are working. And other than that, um, if you're trying to trade something else, we're just going to have to see if they're going to start setting up. So um, that being said, some of the cryptos and the miners, they are looking strong. And so what we're going to be doing is starting to try and tackle some of those in the moxie room so if uh, cryptos and bitcoin and uh, th those kind of names are of interest to you guys uh, make sure you come on over because uh, i think we're going to start digging into those as well all right guys 
Thanks again, and we'll see you soon. SimplerTrading.com slash Moxie. Hey, TG here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my market analysis. Or you can join my free newsletter with the link in the description. Good trading, and I'll see you at the next video.